Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 80 Summer for Four. So, today, guys, we're talking about the European Super League. Now, I know I'm very late with this, guys. I know that I'm already late. So, don't tell me in the comments, oh, you're late, man. You shouldn't have done this two days ago, right? I know I'm late. It's just the fact that um, I've been busy these last couple of days. You know, I had to do some stuff, you know, streamings as well. And just a lot of things have been going on that I just haven't found the time for this. So, I do apologize. And I'll try to be a lot more responsive next time. So, you know, I just have a busy life with college and then with you, um, with you know, personal life, and then obviously, you know, work as well. It's just so much is going on in my life. I really um, do appreciate you guys. So, you know, as I said, guys, um, we're going to go ahead and put time in the description below. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to talk about the article. So we're going to read the article. Then after reading the article, I'll give you guys my opinion, and then we're going to round up here. Okay, so I'll leave a link in the description below to this article. So the European Super League it returns with new proposal involving 60 to 80 teams. Okay. The organizers behind the European Super League have announced a revamped format for the controversial tournament, which would see 60 to 80 teams competing in a multi-division competitional tournament. Multi-divisional competition. The new Luke Super League would be based on sporting performance only with no permanent members. This idea has already been dismissed by Javier Teba as the president of La Liga, as the latest attempt by big clubs to hijack European football. Bernard Richard, Richard, the chief executive of the A22 Sports Management Group, which is behind this plan, said on Thursday, Revamp Super League would be based on sporting performances and not contain any permanent membership from any clubs. He added that the A22 had consulted nearly 50 European clubs since October last year and developed 10 principles based on the constitution, which would underpin its plan for the new look league. The new format would see the clubs play a minimum of 14 Super League matches per season. Uji claimed would increase the stability and predictability of club revenues. He told German news port, uh, newspaper De Wellet, the foundation of European football are in danger of collapsing. It's time for a change. It is the clubs that bear the entrepreneurial risk in football. But when important decisions are at stake, they're often too forced or sit idly by on the sidelines as the supporting financial foundations crumble around them. Our talks have also made it clear that cl clubs often find it impossible to speak out publicly against a system that use the threat of sanction or thwart opposition. Our dialogue, a dialogue was open, honest, constructive, and resulted in clear ideas about what changes are needed. How could they be implemented? There's a lot to do, and we will continue our dialogue. Later on Thursday, A22 published a list of 10 principles for a European Football League, which include broad-based and metrocratic metro competitions, improving competitions with stable and sustainable resources and improved fan experience. The document said it was a preliminary result of comprehensive stakeholder dialogue, but provided no detail who was bankrolling the revamp proposal. But the plans were immediately denounced by Tebas, who on Thursday tweeted a cartoon of European football portrayed by Little Red, as Little Red Riding Hood along with the wolf wearing Super League badge. But Tebas added, the Super League is a wolf who today disguised himself as a granny to try to fool European football, but his nose and his teeth are, are, very, four, are very big, four divisions Europe. Of course, the first for them is the 2019 reform, government of the clubs, of course, only the big ones. A22 has challenged UEFA on FIFA's right to block the formation of Super League. Sanction the competing clubs in the court. They've argued the government bodies are abusing dominant position under EU competition law. UEFA has already dismissed A22's idea of launching a revamped Super League, saying the whole idea, a whole of European football opposes the greedy plan after a meeting in November. The Super League was announced in April 2021, but almost immediately collapsed amidst widespread condemnation, condemnation from rival clubs, domestic leagues, and European politicians. Six English Premier League clubs signed up for the. ECL, Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, Man City, Man United, Tottenham Hotspur, all withdrew. They joined Real Madrid, AC Milan, Atletico Madrid, Barca, Inter Milan, Juventus, Real Madrid as founder members. Okay, um, so now let's talk about my opinion, guys. Let's talk about my opinion. So let me go ahead and um, do this. So let me go ahead and um, adjust this here. So the European Super League, guys, European Super League. To give you guys my opinion, short and sweet. I am kind of kind of unsure what I feel about this. Because on one hand, I do feel as though that we could revamp the Champions League. Because with the current Champions League format, I do feel as though, as much as I like the Champions League, don't go wrong, I, I like the Champions League. There's a lot of things that I don't particularly like about it. First of all, number one is um, the predictability. Let's be fully a stack here, guys. A lot of the predictable stuff happens, you know. And another thing I also don't I didn't like about the I don't like about the Champions League is the fact that um, you also have the idea that um, not all champions can get direct spots. You know, it's the Champions League after all. You know, it's kind of contrary to the name itself, and so I don't really feel that's a bit fair on my part. You know, 
So, you know, it's just that the difficult thing with the Champions League is that the revenue in particular, because I heard the Champions League winners barely get much money. And with the Super League format, if every if everyone did participate and everyone did well, everyone would benefit. Everyone would get the money distributed equally. And I feel like this would be great for the um, for the Super League as well because they can, you know, um, financial things better. My only issue with the Super League is that I don't particularly like the fact it's a league kind of thing. I'm more of a knockout stage guy. And I think this will probably replace the Champions League, you know. And for me, what made the Champions League special was the fact we have the knockout stage. It gave that in spice. It gave the tension and drama. It made it much more dramatic. Because let's be real, guys. If we keep, if we have a league of Barcelona, and Man City, Juventus, while that will look great and all, it will be nice. It would be kind of, it wouldn't really feel that great after like three or seasons in. Like it would feel like, okay, you know, and especially the fact we have 14 games, this will definitely conflict with the, 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 the league scheduling as well. So it's a really controversial topic all around. I am personally kind of one that's kind of on the fence here. I kind of like some ideas of Super League and I also don't like it as well. So um, I'm going to say I'm neutral for now. I have to get, um, we have to see how this further develops. And as I said before, guys, the Super League will happen, guys. Whether you like it or not, it's going to happen at some point. We have to accept it as football fans. So anyone that's brushing this off and say, oh, this will never happen, this will never happen, it will happen. I have a feeling it will happen. Give it probably two or three years, and it will probably happen, guys. So I'm going to end up here for that. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think of the Super League in the comment section below, guys. If you're new on here, consider the subscribe button. Hit this like button as well. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.